John, what's going on? Look what I found. <clears throat> this is from Kelly was in that pageant. <laughs> Crazy. Cam, what up? YRNJ, what's up? Wavy Ty, what's up? Trevor, what's up? Queens, what's going on? SG Wavy Gang, what's going on? Teddy, what's up? Gerard, what's going on? I've been waiting to see the update. Yeah, man, I ain't got nothing up here right now. I'm finna start brushing tonight. Oh, I don't know what happened then. Finna start brushing tonight. What pattern? 360s. Set it in the uh in the description. At two X fam, what's going on? Derek, what's going on? Mr. Day no days off. What's going on? Shout out to Mr. No Days Off, man. Know what I'm saying? My boy Reese 99 on 2K. Know what I'm saying? If y'all if y'all in the 2K, make sure y'all go check out his channel. Know what I'm saying? He got that pure shark. Pure shark 99. I got like 10 characters. <laughs> None of them. All of them. Uh, I got like 292s, all that right there. I got 292s, a 90, a 89. I got two 89s, 88s. I got an 84. <laughs> I got. I just made a new play of the day. I can't stick to one guy. Peterson, what's going on? Prince of Death, what's going on? Looks healthy though. Man, I don't know what it looked like, man. That's, I ain't, I ain't did nothing. I washed my hair one time since I, uh, since I scalped. Just hair health on point. <laughs> I ain't did nothing to it though. That's the funny thing about it. It's just naturally curly. But I'm finna get ready to do a washing style. Hopefully, while well, I know I'm gonna have some ripples off the rip as soon as I start brushing. I can tell already. Make bring me the Windex. Yeah, man, I got a couple, I combed a couple times just to straighten it out a little bit, you know, but I ain't did no brush sessions. And this is going to be my first day officially back in the game trying to get my ways back right. You see, I didn't start from brushing from the scalp, though. What pattern are you going for? 360, grow it out a little more and do the washing style. Yeah, I ain't, well, I'm, it's been like, uh, almost, I cut, I, I scalped May 6th and it's what, June 21st. So I'm really just tired of waiting. I'm finna go ahead and get started. I would wait a little longer till they got, got good hair. Yeah. They had a whole debate on Facebook talking about there's no such thing as good hair. What y'all think about that? Is it, is it a such thing as good hair? It was like, if you have health healthy hair or you don't <laughs> but I you know I know what they was talking about I ain't jumping to the it was a big debate boy I'm talking about it was a lot of guys heated and they got into it it was three two three people going live about it Mika bring me the Windex Windex And something to wipe my mirror off with. Well, 140 ways of legends do it. 360 wave pattern. What is the best brush to start out with? A row brush or a curve? I mean, that's, that's a question they get uh, asked a lot. But it's really no... Uh, it's all a personal preference. It don't really matter to me. Whatever brush. I'm finna start out with uh seven row right now. That's just cause I'm finna that's the brush that I wash my hair with. 
That's the brush I washed my hair with, though. Back in the green room. Oh, yeah. We definitely back in the green room. But, uh, we're finna start out with a seven row. Uh, I'm finna use the Diane 8159. It all depends, though. I mean, it's, like I say, it's all a personal preference. I don't really say one brush is better than the other. It's just all about how you use it. When you finna start, bro? I'm finna start right now. I'm finna start right now. Show y'all my 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 back and all of that. I really don't brush like facing the mirror. I always turn around and brush or comb or whatever I'm doing, and I look in my hand mirror. So make sure you have your mirror, you know what I'm saying? So you can see what you're doing on the back court. What's going on, dog? Y'all see my waves? What waves? This is, well, not my, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no waves. Y'all see my pattern, though. Like, my crown is really pretty much right here. But I'm going to force it over to this area right here, so. I thought you wasn't going to have a crown. Of, what are you talking about? Well, a swirl. I'm not gonna have a swirl. Just have a beehive. But you, all you gotta do is comb out from the spot that you want your crown to be in. So that's what I'm gonna do first. Shout out to my boy Big Court on here. You know what I'm saying? That's my dog right there. Every time I go to a wave event, my dog gonna be with me. Y'all see it, it, it's already really forming up. This side used to be vertical, so I know it's gonna have a little, a couple forts over here when I do start, cause I can see it still ain't shifted all the way. But all I do is just comb out from that spot, you know what I'm saying, and hit it at a diagonal angle, hit that top. This is where I see a lot of 360 wavers make mistakes at. Instead of them going, they try to go the whole thing slanted like this right here, but you really need to be brushing that like your top parts of your 360 is kind of forward like this right here. Instead of everything at that slant like this, it's gonna make it, it's gonna mess up your flow. But what I do is I pull down, down, then when I get up in this area, I just go straight like this right here. But we're going to see what it's looking like, see if I still got any type of swirl left in me. Got to get my crown all the way right. So y'all really seeing it from day one. You know what I'm saying? It's just not me saying that it's from day one. How many hours should you brush a day to maintain your waves? To maintain your waves, I say a minimum of like two hours a day to maintain them. If you're trying to get waves, uh, you need to brush all day, really. Like, when I start, I'm going to be brushing all day. When I wake up, first thing I'm doing is looking in, taking that do-rag off, looking in the mirror, checking my progress, get a little session in. Uh, I might put my rag back on. I might not. But more than likely, I'm going to put my rad back on since I'm just starting back out. Um, if you if you got to go to work, you know what I'm saying, on your lunch break, if you got a job that lets you brush, shit, just brush all day. But if you don't, when you go on your lunch break, go get your little small softy session in or something like that. When you get home. Say hi to your kids and wife. Do your homework. Whatever situation you got going on. Then you get to brushing again. Then, before you go to sleep, you got to get that vamp session in. You waited to curl in to start brushing Hurricane? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't want to start from the scalp because it's just discouraging. <laughs> I just took that time. I've been playing 2K, man. 
That's exactly what I've been doing. I've been playing 2K. Y'all on Xbox. This nigga right here and these niggas calling in the middle of my life. But uh, if you on Xbox, add me triple X, dime time XXX. So it's XXX, dime space time XXX. I'm all right. I ain't the best in the world now, but I'm all right. I can hold my own. It all depends on what character I'm playing with. <laughs> I just made a pure point forward today, but I ain't worked on them. I got like, like I said, I got like 10 characters though, but anyways. All right. <laughs> So the first thing after I do my little comb session, now I'm finna get a little washing style in. I might stay on, blow dry my hair so y'all can see what the results is. But I'm gonna be using the My Fluffy Puffs Rizulo Clay Ball to be doing to do my washing style. I got my mirror. Let me go get my find my brush real quick. That's the brush I'm finna be using. And let's go ahead and get this thing started. Hey, Mika. I need a towel. A towel. So the things you're gonna need. Y'all already know how to do a washing style. Because this is the only towel that's not in the washing machine. And that's my towel. But I was gonna say well, you better f go find another one because that one's going to be soap. I already know. That's why I wash more towels and they're getting ready to go in the dryer right now. Everyone hair texture different. What's up? The best way oh, yeah, in the world. The so. goat waves. Appreciate that. Whenever your hair needs OT. <laughs> you seen that bleach spray? Four 15 minute sessions. Uh, That ain't enough right though. You, you got to be brushing more than 15 minutes at a time. I mean... It'll get you there, but it's gonna take way longer than if no. you just what? That bleach spray, you see it? The one in the yellow bottle? No. This? Seriously? What's going on, uh, Marklin Murray? Who? What the fuck? Who that crack? Who that crackhead at his finest? <laughs> Whenever hair need what? It's the juice, Mr. Wavy, what's going on? Mika Juice. So if you're new to waving, man, the washing style is the best kept secret in waving, the number one staple in the wave game. If you ain't doing washing style, you probably ain't progressing like you should. You know, everybody have different ways of doing the washing style, but it's really only one way to do the washing style. <coughs> you wash your hair, scramble wash your hair. Then, that's the first time you scramble wash it just to get all the dirt out of your hair. Then the next time you come and you brush the scramble wash down. When you get done with your session, I rinse it out one time, then I do the same thing again. I brush with the shampoo in, and then once I do that, I smooth it out, and then I put my do rag on and rinse the shampoo out and let it dry. So that's the only, that's the real way to do a washing style. So let me wet my hair real quick, and I'll be right back. Dang, damn, ain't gonna have no ways at all. All summer, that's rough. No, I'm gonna have some waves right now, dog. Trust me. <laughs> if, if not anywhere, at least on the top and in the back. Okay, this right. What? This 
Oh no, I paid that. I was gonna say I thought so. I threw it away. That's why I was asking for I threw it away because I was like, this day ain't even getting yet. Hold up. What is it? It's July twenty seventh, twenty nineteen. That's all. I'm like, huh? Yeah, I thought it was like this. Okay. Then. When you when you where this came from? I was gonna stop a mail that I had. I definitely paid that. Yeah, because I thought I was throwing some of stuff away, and everybody came in to confirm. <laughs> Anyways, let me uh, where the ways at though? Ron, give me one second, dog. These way, time and I be only one day. That's crazy. It only take one day. As long as your head curl if it only take one day to start waving. That's what a lot of people don't realize. Like, they really think that the video I made, the waves in one hour is fake. It's really not fake. My dog had an afro, a curly one at that. So it was easy just to do a wash the style on his ass and boom. Like, oh, how is he damn near have a perfect swirl? Because I was brushing his hair. That's how. Let me wet my hair real quick. I'll be right back. What pattern are you going for? Three six swirl or beehive? I'm going for beehive. You can see my hair starting as soon as it got wet, it's starting to curl up already. On the sides, it's not really as long as the top and the back, but that's because I sleep on my side, so it it's, it's stunting the growth a little bit. Like I said, I got the My Fluffy Puff Soap Bar. This is the Razul Clay. This is the old Razul Clay Bar. This is the new one. It's the, the old one had like a see-through kind of texture. And the new one is more of a solid, uh, a solid bar. But I'm going to use the old one. Just because. And I also got the red citrus. My fluffy puffs. But I I kind of like just you know, I take a bath with that right now. <laughs> I don't I don't really like it to wash my hair. It's alright. But the Razul clay and the uh the the lavish bar, the black one, those are my two favorite ones to just wash my hair with. That's enough soap. Now I just gotta wet my head a little bit more. And like I say, the first time you wash, you're really not gonna get that much uh, lather. That's because your hair is pretty dirty. So if you got dirty hair, your shampoo is not gonna lather no matter what kind of shampoo you got. 
but the, my fluffy puffs do a pretty good job of lathering even though your head is dirty. Just don't let it get in your eyes because then shit gonna be crazy. All them people don't like to scratch your head when you got no ways in there. This is your perfect time to scratch your head like you like you mean it. Get all the dirt, everything got. And like I said, I only washed one time since I scalped. That was like a month ago. I ain't been doing nothing to my head. I ain't wore a do-rag. I wouldn't wear no do-rag when I had waves though. I might wear a do-rag two times a week. And that's when I know I'm finna go somewhere the next day or something like that. But just a regular, well, do-rag, nah. Not me. So y'all see how the lather looked the first time I washed. It's not really nothing now. So I'm finna rinse this out. Then I'm gonna do it again. Curls the waves. Oh, yeah. Curls the waves. All right, so I really ain't wash it out that good, but it really don't matter because I'm finna put it right back in though, so. Second time I wash, you can see already the difference in the lather. Got way more lather already. And that's the secret to washing style. The more lather you have, the better your washing style gonna come out. It's gonna be easier to brush it down and keep it going. Like you got to have lather in your head when you're doing the washing style. If you ain't got no lather, just stop, rinse your hair out, look at that. Stop, rinse your hair out, and then restart, and you'll have more lather. But you see how much lather I got now in my head just to, from just doing a quick scramble wash, getting all the dirt out of my head. Now my hair is just real sudsy. My hand, look at all that. That's from. You only gonna get that type of lather though from the my fluffy puffs. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this 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 soap was crazy. Look at all that. Another thing you wanna do to uh get ready for the wash style is just kind of like wash your brush that you're gonna use. You can put the suds in there. <laughs> Like the extra suds that I just used, I'm gonna just put it in there real quick. Scrub it like this right here. And then I'm gonna rinse it out. That's to get rid of any product that's gonna cause the uh, lather to break down and get thin. So this will have my brush ready to just 
distribute the soap throughout my head instead of uh, taking it away. Because once you start brushing, a lot of times the lather, especially when you first start, the lather will break down and get thin, and then you'll be adding more shampoo. The thing I like about most soap bars though is the lather is way thicker than like a liquid shampoo. Cause when you use a liquid shampoo, it's more runny. What I'm gonna do next is just take my soap, put it on the bristles itself. Just scrub it a couple times. Timo, Timo in here, what's going on Timo? Hit it one time, rinse it out. Now your brush should be ready to use. But I'm going to just put the soap back on there one more time. And then I'm going to start brushing. So that's what my brush look like now. I grab my mirror. The first thing I do is I'm going to start from back here. And just pull that crown. Work on that crown. When you're doing wash the style, you can really see the angles that you're brushing. So make sure you're brushing the right angles. You got to turn your brush. You can't just look. Y'all see them waves already, boy? I got waves back there already. Let's go. But you want to make sure that you're kind of brushing the right angles with the suds. That's the right, that's right right there. So I just go back over it and I come, I come right there. You see, I ain't brushing the same way every time I change my angle. I might vertical brush here. Then when I get right here, I got the brush more of a sideways, like a normal brush. And I come back right there. That's all I'm gonna do, man. Just keep going over that same look. Try to tap when I get to that crown area. Tap everything out like that right there. Boom. What pattern is this? Beehive? Yeah, this is a beehive. You know, swirl, I would be swooping like this right here and then brushing at my different angles. But I'm going beehive now. So, I'm just brushing everything out and towards my hairline. That's the only thing. You really got to do for a beehive. Just brush towards your hairline. I'll let y'all know one of these days if I've been, well, y'all going to see it and y'all going to see it off the rip if I've been brushing right or not. It seems pretty easy right now, but <laughs> You never know. You don't know till your waves start to fall. Y'all better absorb this game on mamas. <laughs> Wave Man Mike, what's going on? Make sure y'all go check out Wave Man Mike uh, YouTube channel too, man. We got a lot of good videos for y'all to see. 
I ain't really making no videos right now. I'm just going to be going live and stuff, showing y'all progress, answering questions. I might get back to the video making soon, though, once I get my pattern all the way set. But I really want to just come to y'all live right now so y'all can ask me questions. What products do you use? Right now, I'm just using my Fluffy Pulse uh, Razul Clay. But I use so many products because people just be sending me stuff, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, I, I use a lot of products, but I don't use products, really. <laughs> it's hard to explain. I don't, I'm not a big product guy. I just like brushing, washing style. Those are the main two things I do, just brushing, washing style. I mean, I got videos on some of the stuff that I use, like Trinity House of Suds, uh, Rico Remix, My Fluffy Puffs. Uh, you can check out uh, Tracy Lauren, uh, HD Waves. There's just so many products out there now. I, I always use B.O.B. products, though. T, what's going on, dog? But I always use the B.O.B. products off the Wave pages. If y'all ain't on the Wave pages on Facebook... Make sure you join, man. I'm telling y'all. That's where you, like, just, just Wavy said the other night, that's the mecca of waves. That's where you go if you really want to learn and just have a, a, I mean, everything has its ups and downs, but the majority of it, you're going you gonna to love it, man. You, it, it's, it's a lot of knowledge from different waves, so it's more than just, like, one person that you're watching. You can be watching somebody that's closer to your hair type and see what they use. Uh, you can see the different patterns and stuff all in one area. Shout out to Waves Our Life. You know what I'm saying? We just hit 10K members. Like, uh, I want to say almost at the beginning of the month. But Waves Our Life. Waves with a capital R. Life. Waves Our Life. Like Toys, Toys R Us, Ways Our Life on Facebook. Make sure you go join that page. That's where all the WTVD members, it's it's a lot of uh, wave teams are out there. You know, and you got uh, WTVD Supreme. You got the Horseman. You got Spoon Game. You got uh, Imperial. You got uh, the Family, One Mob. Only the family, one mob. Uh, who else out there? I, I feel like I'm forgetting one Michigan mob. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, One Way Nation. There's some more teams out there, too, but I don't know them all. Them only, them only, them, those are the only ones I really know like that. Y'all see the left side a little wavy, too? Left side kind of wavy. And I didn't, like I said, I haven't been brushing, man. I just, it just shifted on its own, really. It just went back to its natural, like its natural pattern that I always had. Because when I was brushing the verticals like this right here, it was kind of, I had to force it to do that. Because all my life, I really had like a beehive kind of pattern. But I, I wasn't brushing like, I wasn't a wavel. I just had waves. They went deep at all. They, they were more like ripples. But I mean, back in high school, I had waves. But I really got serious about waving in 2015. When I joined, I, I started watching uh, YouTube. My home, my cousin, he put me on Nick Waving. Started watching Nick Wave a little bit. From Nick Wave, I went to Sir Cruz. From Sir Cruz, I went to Jeezy. When I saw Jeezy, I was like, man, I gotta go and swirl, man. I, don't, I ain't never saw no waves like that right now. Got to, I gotta get that swirl pattern now. You know? So, that's how Hurricane Henry was born, man. Then, I, like a month after watching YouTube videos, uh, Jesus said something about all waves. So I went to join all ways. And then once I did that, 
I didn't even get, I didn't even join always first though. That was the first page I clicked on to get accepted to, but the first page that put me on was uh, Jess Wavy and Poppy. That was Natural Elite Waves. And then I went to Elite Spins. And then a couple months after that, uh, I, no, about a half a year after that, after being on those two pages, the majority, it, it's like, it was like five pages back then. It was Elite Kings. That's like the original wave group, but I don't think that even around no more. But it was uh, always Elite Kings, Natural Elite, um, Elite Spins, Major Week, Major, Major League Waving. A couple different pages, but y'all see the, the ripples coming already. Like I said, I knew I was gonna be rippled up for all the guys that was down me. Like, if I would have waited another month, I probably would have came out with a full wave pattern. But my hair ain't long enough yet. It take my hair a little minute to reach curl length. Swag Drizzle, what's going on? He ain't noticed I sent him bread to he. He ain't gonna notice I sent them bread after the video. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. That uh, <laughs> appreciate that tsunami. I see it at the top. What's going on though, Swag? Swag Drizzle, Tsunami Timo. Those are my guys that was on my underrated list. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all go check out that video too on uh, my page, <clears throat> on my channel. The top 10 underrated waivers on YouTube. I think my boy Swag Drizzle just hit 10K uh, last week. So shout out to him. He was the number one guy on the list. I think Timo was number nine. Anybody else? Uh, he got one. I got nine, though. I should have got two. Who was number two? Oh yeah, Mr. Wade Man. Now they say Mr. Wade Man locked up for driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> I don't know how true that is though, but hey man. Clout guy. So what I'm gonna do now? Oh, he out now. The legend in the building. 540 style Al, what's going on? I'm going to wash this out real quick. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the same thing again. You know what I'm saying? So give me a second to wash this out real quick. ways in one with coarse hair. I think that's what he said. Can you get ways in, in one with coarse? Yeah, you can get ways in one day with coarse hair. It'll be easier. Y'all see them things coming though already, man. It won't be long before I'm killing the game again. It won't be long. By the end of the year, I'll be killing the game. They'll be like, man, he came out of nowhere. It's been, it's been almost two months. It's a, uh, I guess, uh, July 6th will be two months. It's the 21st. The 21st right now, so. Uh, it's been a little bit over a month. Now all I'm gonna do is grab the soap, put it back in my hair. You really don't have to use the same amount. I can just do that. Use that little bit right there. My whole head will sew it up. That's the good thing about the my fluffy puffs. It's different. It's different soaps out there too. But uh, this is the one I like the best. 
You can use African black soap. They got uh, Just Wave, they got the Royal Soap. Uh, Trinity House of Suds got a lot of soaps that you can use. Um, then you can buy like the Shea Moisture soaps and all of that type of stuff too. But none of them really can compete with this right here to me. This one got the like the thickest suds. And like I say, that's the best thing you want to have when you're doing the washing style. Them thick suds that don't run in your eyes and stuff. Like you see, it ain't nothing running really. That will just get thick. in my three month wolf tomorrow. Hey man, if you're going to the barber, make sure you give them full directions on how to cut your hair, man. I wanna hear you the next time you come on my live saying, man, the barber elf my wolf up. You know what I'm saying? You have been wolfing three months, don't get no lower than a two. Don't get no lower than a two. It all depends on what kind of hair you got though. But you don't want to get no lower than the two. You've been wolfing three months. Don't get your progress cut off. And don't get a hot, super hot taper. Tell them to tape you right by your ears. I don't want my say, I don't want my tapers to come above my ears. I want a low taper. You know what I'm saying? Edge me up. And taper me in the back. That's if you like tapers. Some people don't like tapers, but I do. I got to have that table. But last time I went, I just told, I say I went, last haircut I got, I went to uh, 360 Jeezy. And I just told him, man, give me that 360 Jeezy special. <laughs> I want the 360 Jeezy haircut, the high table. Because I knew I was going to get ready to cut my ways off and stuff. I told him, give me the high table. But this time I went to Cali, man, it was it was totally different from that first time I went because like I, I stopped smoking. So but when I went out there I had smoke and it man I would sleep half the trip. <laughs> Last time boy I was up boy. I went up I mean, uh, like around 12, cause I live in Florida. So like around 12 o'clock, I was extra tired, but I was just tired the whole trip this time. Half the trip, I was asleep, literally. I had all the symptoms of a, a, a guy first time getting high, I was sleeping, hungry, dry mouth, <laughs> munchies. It was crazy. First time I went though, I loved it. This time I felt old. It was it was uh how many people went this time? It was like seven of us had went this time, I wanna say. All from WTBD. It was a couple guys met us out there too. Got cut by Jesus. Ray changed his shoes. He didn't want to come in. The, he ain't coming to Kirk Franklin Twelves this time. brushing like this man without doing all the swooping and everything like that hold on let me see what some of y'all been saying on here you took a plane or train when you went to cali no boy i took a plane six hours six hour flight the train would have took me a whole two three days to get to cali you should get a line up and taper and make your wolf look good 
You should have smoked sativa, not indica. I mean, I don't, I don't know what the hell I smoked. All I know, I was asleep. Everybody got that medicinal. So it wasn't like, <laughs> uh, next time I know. I should have said, man, give me some stuff that going to keep me up and up and happy instead of sleepy. <laughs> I just would look, was looking at stuff. I was like, oh, yeah, this is what I need right here. This is that pressure. But next time I know you can get a line up in a mid wolf and keep clean and nice. How long you gonna how long you going to wolf? Uh I'm probably gonna wolf to the end of summer. I ain't I ain't gonna stop wolfing until my waves, my pattern is all the way established. Then I'm gonna get a cut. But until my waves come all the way in, I'm not gonna stop wolfing. I don't know how long that's gonna be. It's been, like I say, it's been almost two months already. Like when I used to spot scalp, when I used to spot scalp, I already uh, have my waves back by now. But I guess since I ain't been brushing like that, it, my hair ain't growing as fast as it. But I, I went way lower than what I always spot scalped it. I spot scalped it like a one against the grain. I, I scalped it a zero against the grain. So I didn't have no waves at all, none. Look at my crown real quick, my bad. Get y'all in there. Now I'm not a, a beehive expert yet. So my pattern, my crown work don't look as good as it probably should. But I'm gonna I'm gonna get it down all the way packed. Right now I'm just trying to force my crown to that middle spot right there. And once I do that, I'll be able to have a spot where I can reference the brush from. But my main goal is try to get my crown to that area right there because it's start it's originally like right here. Everything but my right side is laying down and I brush more on that side. What else can I do? You mean, what do you mean by laying down? Fluffy puff, bar soap, yeah. I don't know. Trap killing the 540s, man. He holding you down. Yo, trap killing. Trap been killing for a little minute. Like I say, man, you see how you can't really see where I stopped brushing it? That's how you know I'm brushing the right angles because everything is like continued. When you get back there, you can kind of see it though, but that's because I'm br trying to brush that separate from all my, di all my sides. You gotta isolate your crown for it to come in good. But right now, like I say, I'm just, I'm just going with the flow because I really don't know what my pattern is looking like. I, I just got ripples right now. So once I see what I need, what, and your angles change depending on how you need to bend your waves. So like my wave, my angles ain't gonna stay the same. Once I get my waves in and I see which way my waves is going, then I'm gonna start brushing it different ways and make my waves pull this way or make my ways go forward or whatever I need to do. I ain't, you always gotta change your angles until you get your pattern all the way established. Hurricane, what's up, Jit? What's up, King J Queen Jit? The queen of Jits, Lotus. Stepped in the building. The queen of all Jits. <laughs> Queen of the jitty bugs.
so many waivers out there putting out good content. All waivers need to hold an annual wave convention. Future thinking. That would be nice, man. Right now, we just got the health show. I went to the health show this, uh, when it was in March. I done been all across the country this year, man. I went to New Orleans, went to New York, went to Cali. Been all over Florida. All about waves. Got the My Fluffy Puffs uh, pop-up shop coming to uh, Florida. Y'all in Florida in October. Like around, I think it's October 11th. Something like that, I can't remember. It's going to be her and a couple more uh, like wave companies. And they're going to be doing like a little pop-up shop where you can come. It's going to be waivers there. You can buy different products and stuff like that. That's about the only little convention we got right now. <laughs> but I went up there to New York and went to that same little event that she had in New York. And I, I will say this, I am never going back to New York, son. <laughs> Especially not in the wintertime. I damn near froze to death up there. I'm from Florida too. As soon as I stepped off the plane, I was, I was like, this is not, <laughs> this is not for me. I came up there in some J's. My toes down there froze. By the time I left, I stayed up there only one day. By the time that day, that I stayed up there in the snow all day. By the time that night came, boy, I'm talking about my bones felt so old. I felt like I was 92. Let me see. What part of Florida? I'm by uh, Orlando. I'm in Polk County. So I'm in between Orlando and Tampa. I'm like 20 minutes away from Orlando and like 45 minutes away from uh, Tampa. That's where I'm at. So once I get done with the washing style, I just like, I get the soap and just rub it in my hands one time and just get that extra little lather. Make sure you got a lot of lather when you're doing the washing style, especially when you get ready to end it, smooth everything out. I don't want no hairs really sticking up. And that's what the lather does. It helps your hair to lay down better. The more laid down your hair is, the better your washing style results are gonna be. As y'all can see, man, I'm rippled up already one day. That's why I didn't want to brush from the scalp. Cause I knew I was, I was like, man, I can be rippled up in one day. Uh, have a full wave pattern in one day. I ain't finna be doing all that extra brushing for no reason. I'm just sit and wait. Play some 2K. <laughs> Killing the scalp. <laughs> Oh yeah, that go my boy Mr. No Days Off again, man. It's 115 people on here. I need y'all to go check out my boy. You know what I'm saying? How he been killing in 2K. If y'all don't if y'all don't play 2K, man, let me tell you this, man. And all the ones that do play 2K know. To get to 99 is a grind, man. I'm still a 92. But I mean, I probably could have been a 93, 94 by 9 if I would have just stuck to one player. But I play with a lot of players, but to get to 99, boy, you got to play at least a thousand. <laughs> you got to be done played a thousand uh, my career games on top of going in the park, two, three thousand games in the park, a thousand games, thousands of games in the rec, pro-am, whatever you play. Man, that is a real grind. So go check out my boy, Mr. No Days Off Channel. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all to go subscribe to him. He'll, he'll make you want to make a pure shark. He out there dribbling like he'll playmaker though. He don't want to teach me the secrets. <laughs> he don't want to teach me the secrets though, man. So after you do that, 
you know, I don't pretty much did the washing style. You can do it longer if you want to. I, I, I'm done though. So all you do now is you just put on your do rag and I'm gonna put on the boo boo cap too. I got a do rag right here. This is a Rico Remix do rag. Shout out to Rico Remix sponsoring one of the sponsors for Way Mogul. Got great products, do rags. Got a brush, all that. He he like a one stop shop almost. Let me go grab a boo boo cap real quick, and I'll be right back. cap you don't have to have a boo-boo cap but this is what i like to use when i do the washing style you got the monsoon caps you can use a regular stopping stocking cap but the only thing i don't like about the regular stopping caps is they really put that line across your forehead it cut it cut into that forehead real nice so i don't really like using that right though and what i do is i pull the do-rag all the way down to my eyes Grab the boo-boo cap, flip it up a couple times, and I put the, oh, flipping the wrong way. And what I do is I put the thread on the outside. That's just a habit of mine. See the threads on the outside. Just put it on my head, pull it down tight. If I need to flip it one more time, I would. But I don't need to flip it. I already know how many times I need to do that. Then I just pull the do-rag down more. Pull it down in the back on the sides. So now everything tight. Then I pull the boo cap all the way down to my hairline as much as possible. And once I do that, I just flip it up like that and tie it up. Now, I know I make, I make this look effortless. I've been doing it a long time. Some of y'all might can't tie y'all do rag that easy. But once you do that, oh, you pretty much done. Pull it down in the back one more time from right here. Make sure everything is tight as possible so I get the best compression. Once I do that, I'm pretty much done. I'm, I'm ready to rinse the shampoo out. So this is where a lot of people get confused that they're like, do you leave the shampoo in? Absolutely not. You just put your do-rag on, then you rinse the shampoo out and you let it dry before you take the do-rag off. I know a lot of y'all wanna see the results immediately, but you got to let the do-rag dry completely before you take it off to get the best results. Some of y'all take y'all do-rag off while your hair's still wet and be like, oh, my waves disappeared. It worked, but my waves disappeared as soon as I brushed it because you didn't give it enough time to get set in your head. You gotta let it get set in your head before you take that rag off. It's still going to, your waves might disappear a little bit still once you go to brushing. But as soon as you put some moisturizer in your hair or whatever you put in your hair, brush it and uh, wrap back up again, your waves will be back again. Any type of brushing is going to disturb your waves. Even if you soft brush, it's going to lift up your hair just the, it, it just has the minimum effect of lift, lifting up your hair. The harder the brush is, the more your hair gonna lift up. Washington style today, besides me. Trap in here. We need Hurricane back, dog. <laughs> Trap Ways, what's going on? Trap Ways was one of my uh, underrated guys. He's been making some good videos lately too man y'all make sure y'all go check out my boy trap ways channel 
check out all the guy man just go check out that video and you'll see all the waivers y'all need to be looking at besides the guys that's already you know the big name guys that's already out though um those those 10 guys man they've been grinding hard making a lot of videos you know what i'm saying it's more than four people out here making videos so <clears throat> make sure y'all do that and let me rinse this out real quick. Now, when I when I before I do that, when I when I start the washing style, I use hot water. But when I finish the washing style, I use cold water. Hot water make your pores open up, and the cold water uh, makes them close back up. So what I do, I like to use cold water. Uh, the original person who made the the washing style which is young wavy he he said use warm water but i like using cold water because it just makes my hair lay down better especially since i'm in florida and it's hot so i use the cold water i really don't i mean the only time i don't re really use cold water like that is in the winter time because i don't want to go outside with a cold wet head and get sick but it, it is really never cold in florida it might be cold 20 days out the year like cold cold but other than that it's pretty much hot so i'm gonna use some cold water rinse this out real quick then i'll be back That's how you do the washing style. Now when I'm rinsing, rinsing out to make sure I get all the product out, what I do is I push down like this right here on my head. While my head is underneath the, the shower head, I push down like this right here, make sure everything gets squeezed out. And then I grab the back of my do-rag like this and just squeeze it. And once I do that, you see like water coming from underneath the do-rag, so that makes sure everything get out of there. It just ran down my back too. <laughs> then from there, I do the same thing and I pat it dry like this. Get underneath my do rag, grab the do rag tail, and just squeeze it with the towel. Pull down on the do rag. Try to get as much water out as possible with the rag. Get this area. Now the longest part to dry probably is like this area right here, especially if you got double compression on. You want to make sure you rinse, rinse real good so you get all that shampoo out. You don't want to leave the shampoo in your head. It ain't really good for your health. Because shampoo has lye, like the lye in it. That's what makes the suds. And it's almost like uh, a, a lesser version of a perm. So the longer you leave it in there, it's going to make your hair more straighter. You don't really want your hair 
And it's going to be, you leaving all the stuff that's um, in the shampoo in there too. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much it, dog. Just let it dry. Like, if I was in a rush, I'd grab the blow dryer and, like, dr blow dry for, like, 10 minutes, and it'll be completely dry. But I don't really want to put y'all through that, you know what I'm saying? How y'all listening to the blow dryer? I'm going to just go to sleep. When I wake up tomorrow, this is what I'm going to do. When I wake up tomorrow, I'm going to go live. So y'all look for a live in the morning. Well, now I gotta go to a, uh, take my son to basketball camp. Tracy McGrady having a basketball camp down here. So after that, probably around 12 or one o'clock. So that next, tomorrow afternoon, I'm gonna go live like around 12 or one and show y'all the results from the washing style. I ain't gonna take my do-rag off until then. Y'all, I might take it off just to switch do rads though, but <laughs> look at this guy. That's my little cousin right there in the background. Instagram. This is YouTube. Oh, hello. He got the he got the man bun. <laughs> he got the man bun going on. But shout out to all y'all who came and watched me, man. Appreciate y'all for following me. You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all learned some. Got a couple gems in the gym, in the green room. But y'all already know what it is though, man. If you ain't got your none, <laughs> you better grab a brush and get you some, huh? Over in Arbordale? Oh yeah. Yeah, he it's over in Arbordale. That's where I'm going. What you know about Arbordale, dog? Where you was at in New York? I was in Brooklyn. I, I stayed I stayed in uh Newark though by the airport and then I went to uh and I, I was in Brooklyn all day though. Stay blessed, Hurricane. See y'all later. I wanna before I go though, Jose, what you know about Arbondale though? <laughs> you from Florida? You have to come back to Brooklyn, Kane. Listen, man, if I come back to Brooklyn, y'all gonna have to have me a coat, three layers of socks, some long johns, two hoodies, <laughs> 17 vests, <laughs> and some Tim's. That's the only way I'm coming back. <laughs> I got to be warm. I'm talking about I need to feel like it's 80 degrees. <laughs> Thanks for speaking with me on Facebook message. Last year, my crown area has grown. That's what's up, man. Yeah, man, y'all want to, man. Y'all can hit me up on Facebook, Instagram. I try to get back to all the Wables. On Facebook, my name is Henry Babels. Don't go to the Hurricane Henry page and message me because I really don't be answering those messages. But go to my personal my personal page, Henry Babels Jr. And message me there, or you can message me on uh, Instagram at HurricaneHenry863. And I answer all y'all questions that y'all have, draw y'all diagrams. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't, I ain't no Hollywood way where I talk to all the guys that hit me up. Every single person that hit me up, I, I try to talk to them. But if you hit up Hurricane Henry page, my Hurricane Henry page on Facebook, it might take me a while to get to that because I really don't be looking at that. What's the best brush straight or curve? <laughs> somebody, that's, I mean, somebody already asked me that earlier, but like I told them, it's really all a personal preference. Um, I would say... If you got a swirl pattern, curve might be a little bit better for you. If you got a beehive pattern, you probably want to use straight brushes, but you still can use curves, but don't really, you got to be careful when you brushing like your crown area with the curve. 
The best kind of brush though for a beehive is this brush right here. This is the brush I'm gonna be using the most right here. This little pointy brush hit my crown area. Go all the way around it real good. Hit that tap tap method. But man, like I say, man, y'all wanna, if you really wanna learn more in details about ways 24 7, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you got to join the Facebook pages, man. It ain't no way of getting around it. It's gonna be thousands and thousands and thousands of waivers with different experiences so they can tell you um, exactly what they do, what they don't learn. It, it, I mean, I'm not, I, I got a lot of knowledge and I, I feel like it's still other people that got just as much knowledge as me. There's nobody that got more knowledge than me now. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> but no, nah, man, seriously, though, it's, it's lots of waivers with knowledge, so you don't have to take my word for it. You can get somebody closer to your hair type, and you can um, talk to them because what worked for me might not work for you. The only thing that going to work for sure that I tell you is them angles. I know for sure that going to work. But as far as like product wise uh, and brushes and all that type of stuff, you might want to talk to somebody with a closer pattern to, uh, to you than what I got. Like, I mean, like, especially with the brushes, I don't care what brush I brush with because I know my angles. So I always... It's not like I'm gonna use the whole brush on my head and brush the my pattern I use. Sometimes I use the tip of the brush. I use like the side of the brush, like just that much of the brush. I use the bottom half of the brush. I use the top half of the brush. It all depends on like what I'm trying to do. I use just the tip of the brush like that right there. The whole brush rarely touches my head. No matter if I'm using a straight, a palm, a curve, or uh, whatever other kind of brushes they got, it's all it's brushes all shapes and sizes. Like this is the biggest brush, <laughs> one of the biggest brushes you'll ever come across, and this is a club brush. This brush is, um, this brush is bigger than the long handle brushes, but it's a club. You see. So you're gonna have to use every brush that you get differently. Then they got the nine rows, 11 rows, seven rows, four rows, six rows, five rows. I really don't know about all that, man. I just brush. <laughs> That's the main thing that I do. Yes, we love B.O.B. products. What's up, homie? Come to GA, big dog, Barber's Paradise. You get B. You get Bean Game Changer Jersey, Tune 45, we about to be lit. Who, Barber's Paradise, oh, Barber's Paradise, you get Bean Game Changer. That's who I want to get cut by too, Game Changer. Out of all the guys I've seen on YouTube, that's like, one of the guys I want to get cut by. Where's my lighter? I ain't got no lighters. Where's my pink lighter? I ain't got no pink lighters. Then where's my lighter? I don't know. Don't be asking me no questions while I'm on YouTube, girl. You always want to mess with me. You always want to lose my stuff. And then if it was your stuff, you'd be all... <laughs> it's a barber shop in Atlanta. I, uh, I'll probably be in Atlanta for the hair show this year. So hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and give me all the details. I'll come out there, dog. Put it on YouTube. Can I send, no, can I send me a brush? On I heard good things about it. Me too. Game Changer goes in. Yeah, Game Changer real nice, man. I want to get cut by him one day. Man, my dog Court was talking about going out to uh, Arlington and hitting his shop up one of these days. I want to get cut by all the YouTube barbers. See who I'm gonna put them all aside. When I do, 
I'm gonna put them all the videos side by side and uh I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare them and y'all tell me who the best person I got cut by. So my baby It's eleven twenty where I live. It's probably a, well, it's eleven twenty where I live too, because I'm on the east coast. It sound like you're on the east coast, let get bean cut you first, trust me. Uh get bean. I don't know. I saw how he cut. I I didn't really like how he cut G's and uh, what his name is. Yo funds. Yo funds supposed to have been cut me up one of these days, I, but I scout. <laughs> so he's gonna have he gonna have to wait till I get my uh my wave pattern back right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna put him to the test and see if he can really cut. He a barber. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to put him to the test, dog. What did you like the enhancements? No, I just didn't like. I mean, he he, he cut him straight. It wasn't it wasn't bad. I just like the way he faded, did the temp fade. I ain't I ain't really careful the way he did the temp fade. That's the only thing that I really didn't like. But other than that, it came out pretty straight. <clears throat> but like. I mean, the only guy on YouTube who really cut me was Jeezy, and I let my boy T the Barber cut me, and then my boy AJ, he ain't got no YouTube, but he a barber, I, and I put him on YouTube when we went to ATL, so he cut, AJ cut my crown the best out of all of those guys, though, but Jeezy, Jeezy cut me pretty nice, my boy T cut me pretty nice, but he, he kind of messed up my crown a little bit, because he ain't cut he probably ain't cut no swirl in a little minute. Back in the day, he used to cut my swirl real good, but he had kind of gashed me a little bit, but it was straight. It went like a super duper gash. But the cut overall, like the fading and everything, I like T, T the best, but overall haircut, probably G's the cut the best out of, you know, like just the overall haircut. But my boy T fade the best and my boy AJ cut my crown the best. Because my boy AJ, he got waves too. So on the real, you to go to waves because Jersey isn't 100% African-American. And Sir Cruz does too much. Your hair texture represents 90% black males on the real. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, man. I, I mean, I got, I, got, I got black people here. It's just a little good, you know, <laughs> a little bit of... A little bit on the better side of the black people here, but it's definitely, I call it carpet. <laughs> That's what I, I usually call it. I, I say I got that carpet texture. It's thick and woolly. When it's low though, it look like baby hell, but when it's high, it look like nigga hell. <laughs> LOL, you like me, Henry. Oh yeah, I'm from Australia. It's 123 p.m. Dang, y'all already in the next day. <laughs> if this day ain't even ended yet You already done started your your day That's what's up though, Patrick My boy Patrick tuning in from Australia on y'all, man Trying to get the waves right, huh? <laughs> How often do you scalp? That was my first time scalping I did a spot scalp like three times before I just like the first time I was spot scalp, I spot scalp my whole top and my left side. And then the second time I scalp, I scalp like half of my top. And then I scalp like half of my left side. And then after that, I spot scalp this little area. The last time I spot scalp, I just spot scalp this little area right here. And uh, that's the only time I really just scalp but the first time the uh, may was my first time scalping every single thing i don't scalp I, I was brushing like four years before i scalp so yo yeah, man I, you, you you don't you you don't need to scalp that often because all you're doing is just starting over the only time you really need to scalp if you want to start a new pattern i'm thinking about scalping what you gonna switch patterns or you gonna just start over? I mean, sometimes you you do need to scalp if you if you trying to do too too much to your hair, 
like brush it like one day this is how i really even scalped the, like did the spot scalp because i was like i said i was watching all these different guys on youtube and everybody brushed different because they got different patterns so I would like, one day I'd be like, man, I want this Jesus swirl. Then I see Country Kane. I would like, oh, I want to swirl like Country Kane. Then I saw this dude named Mr. Warren County. I was like, oh, I want my swirl like Mr. Warren County. So by the time I watched all those different guys brush, I used to brush like this, brush straight. Man, I had a big X in my head, like just waves going like this right here. I was like, man. And then after I did, Figure out how I wanted to brush my hair. It was too late and I had to just scalp it because I had, it was just like three months of me just brushing consistently and that I had just one wave just going all the way across my head like this, like I had the 540 slant and I was trying to have a straight top. So it was just messing my whole pattern up. Don't compare yourself to Jesus, he is mixed. His hair texture don't represent African Americans. <laughs> In the winter, I don't know yet. Got to see how this turns out. How high do your hair needs to be to start ways, or should you it be low to the scalp first? It's a mirror. You can start either way, but what I recommend is starting at curling. When your hair is able to curl up, it'll be able to wave up immediately. But you can start from the scalp and you can start working on like your flow, your crown placement and things like that right though. But you ain't gonna really see no results if you start from like a low haircut. It depends on your hair texture though. Cause if you got coarser hair, like your hair curl at a shorter length, but mine is like a medium texture. So I my hair don't curl till it get to like a 2.5. And right now it's probably like right at a two, I want to say. My head's like a little bit over a two. So I say about another two, three weeks, my hair be at full curl length. And then you'll really see my pattern start to come in fully. But all you got to do is just keep growing your hair and don't stop until your hair reach full curl length and then go a little bit after that because you want you don't want to reach curl length and then get a haircut and then you now you're below curl length again so i'll probably be wolfing like until the end of some probably august no what this month is yeah probably around august or september it will be my first haircut but it's okay though no, not at all. I'm mixed too, player. But trust and believe my hair rep the African Americans. <laughs> what what's your Facebook name again, bro? I need major help on my 540 slim. Could you do a diagram for me? Yeah, my name Henry Babers on there. You'll see me because I got the waves, like my waves on them, and my head is pointed down like this. So you can see my swirl a little bit. My head is down. Henry Babers on Facebook and uh, Hurricane Henry863 on Instagram. You you did the hat man method watching your just did the hat man method watching your video. Thanks, big big up. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate you for watching. I ain't did the hat man in so long. It's been a little minute. I think I tried to do it. Uh sometime last year but yo man i ain't i ain't did the hat man my my boy zay wavy do it every week <laughs> i ain't did the hat well i ain't had no waves in like a month or so month or two so of course i ain't did nothing but i hadn't did it in a while since then all i was doing is washing styles in the clay and lay because i i was woofing 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 like I wore from July, I wore from June to November, the week before Thanksgiving. I wolfed a long time. That's a long time. That was 19 weeks of wolfing. But some guys go longer than that. I probably end up going 20 weeks at least this time though without getting a haircut. 
but my hair was way lower, so it, it won't be the same effect. Like, I started from a two last time and wolfed 19 weeks. This time I'm starting from a, 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 a zero against the grain, a bald head. <laughs> so I probably can go a little bit longer than 20 weeks. What is wolfing? Way mechanic, what's going on? Naeem the dream is in the building. That boy right there, a straight wave mechanic. But you know what wolfing is, man. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody know what wolfing is. That's just growing your hair past your normal haircut routine. You get a haircut every two weeks. You want to wolf every week after that, you wolfing. So if you go three weeks, you're really one week wolfing. If you go uh, four weeks, that's two weeks wolfing. If you go five weeks, that's three weeks wolfing. You go, it all depends though. It, it's, it, wolfing can get technical, but that's just like the baseline of how it starts out right though. If you get a low cut from Dell after two weeks, your hair grow back and then you start the wolfing process after that. Can you tell me how can I get my crown to be closed? You gotta isolate your crown, little, little Chico. You gotta isolate it. So that means just brushing your crown only. It depends. If you got a swirl, you just wanna tap around your swirl. If you got a beehive, you wanna tap out from your, uh, from your crown. Just right around your crown and just tap it out. You can use a little pomade. Don't go crazy with the pomade. That'll just help keep your crown, keep your crown in place so it don't move on you. But if you um got the swirl, just close, just brush like you brushing the spot. Don't brush around the open spot in your head. You gotta brush through the brush through your crown and comb a lot too comb through your crown that's what you, like my crown is originally all the way over here all i do is just comb right through it well what i used to do i just comb right through my crown and just act like it ain't even there and i close it ended up closing up and then i had to look, the little pigtails that all the swirl waves have well not all of them some of them got an open crown still, but they like their crown to be open. It make it a little easier to see your swirl with your crown open, but it look better when it's closed than me. Use a tiny bit of merge for the crown. Yeah, we all met somehow. Yeah, you're right. Bruce Wade, what's going on? I said I, said I have the beehive. Oh, you got the beehive? Well, you just tap out. You just tap out from your crown. Like if you got the, like if your bald spot all the way like out here, just brush inside of that bald spot and brush out and it's gonna start making it close up more and more and more. You can't get to the edge of the ball where your crown is open it and just try to brush from there. You gotta brush through the bald spot, not the bald spot, but the open spot in your head and just start to close it up. It ain't gonna start to close up. Brush from that, like just hold your finger or something like right here and brush from your finger out. And that way you'll know you're brushing through and it's going to make that hair grow in though. And when you get a haircut too, don't get a, cut your crown a little bit higher than the rest of your hair. So if you get like a two, cut the crown at least uh, like a two. 2.25 or 2.5 and that way it'll start catching up like what i had to do the clothes to really get my crown to come in good is i wore for like um uh 13 weeks that was like my longest wolf i did i went like 13 weeks and i was trimming my crown to a three I wasn't touching the rest of my head, but I every now and then I trim my crown down to a three. I kept it real high and uh, just kept on isolating it with the comb and with the brush. 
And then eventually it came on in. And when it came in, then I cut it down and I was swirling. We not talking skin, we talking hair. All good, Courtney, like chopping it up with your player. Much love. Yeah, man, on that note, I'm gonna go and get up out of here, man. I know I said that like 30 minutes ago now, but I'm finna go and get up out of here. I wanted to see where Jose was at and if he was in Florida, but I gotta get up early and take these kids to this basketball camp, man. Appreciate all y'all for watching. Y'all already know what it is, though, man. If you ain't got you none, you better grab a brush and get you some. What number should I get to start waves? Two. Get like a two, 2.5. 2.5. If you got like a fro or something, get a 2.5. All right, man. Y'all be easy. 